brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Less than a month on the job and Guam's interim archbishop is changing up leadership. Effective today, Archbishop Savio Han Tai Fai has replaced diocesan curia. In a release from the Archdiocese of Agania, he announces a new delegate of the administrator, which would assume the responsibilities of the vicar general. His pick? Father Jeffrey St. Nicholas. Father Jeff replaces Monsignor David C. Kitigua. Also taking a new leadership role is Father Jose Antonio Lito Abad, who replaces Father Adrian Cristobal as Chancellor. Both appointments follow Archbishop Hahn's meetings with all of the island's clergy and members of the church. The appointments, the release states, quote, must be seen as a collegial effort for the purpose of promoting unity and stability in the local church, end quote. Also in an effort to reunify the church, Archbishop Hahn announced earlier this week the creation of four consultative committees, which include the scenario of the archdiocese, ongoing formation, proposal for repositioning of priests, and seminary visitation. In addition to a new designated spokesperson, Monsignor B.B. Arroyo, and a new support and contact person for alleged victims of sexual abuse perpetrated by a cleric, Father Patrick Castro. Father Patrick is tasked with reaching out and making contact with those who have been allegedly abused in some way. In the most recent issue of Umatuna Sisuus, Father Tadius Jan Nowak states, quote, The way the church works, a representative tries to make contact with the alleged victims, to interview them, to offer encouragement, but also to take their testimonies, end quote. Father Ted also notes that Archbishop Hahn models his administration after the Holy Father, Pope Francis, and that his game plan moving ahead is to first consult, reflect, pray, decide, and then implement. As for the new appointments, Father Ted states all clergy were asked to offer their resignations with the understanding they continue to hold that office until Archbishop Hahn accepts the resignation and appoints them elsewhere. Quote, he has the liberty and the authority to appoint and to move clergy from one office to another by canon law. Nevertheless, he wanted these letters as a sign of goodwill and cooperation in helping to foster the unity of the diocese, end quote. Both Father Jeff and Father Lito will make their public profession of faith and oath of fidelity this Saturday at a prayer meeting for unity set for 7.30 p.m. at the Aganya Cathedral. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.